It's a lovely day and I am walking around with a ton of uh, book keys. <laughs> I've got some more here and I've got another one in my back pocket. So <laughs> why am I wandering around with book keys? Am I in the boat stealing business? Have I found a way to nick people's boats and make a tidy profit during these untroubled or these troubled to uncertain times? <laughs> Sadly no. The truth is a bit more prosaic and uh, it is quite simply this that um, with things being under lockdown and things like that people aren't sure if they can get down to their boats or not. At present they can if they phone up or something I guess but that may not always be the case. So what they have done is they've been proactive, bless them. And we have become the boat key repository for this section of the marina. And um, we're looking after other people's boats. So if all of a sudden the lockdown progresses to new levels and people are all of a sudden shut out of the marina, we have the keys to go on their boats, um, check things like propeller shafts, stripless seals, uh, empty dehumidifiers, and do things like that. And generally just look after the boat, check the lines, make sure everything looks good. And that's what I'm doing today. It's dehumidifier day on Salty Lass. So <laughs> I'm not really into boat theft. <laughs> I'm not too sure where I could sell them. But there you go. <laughs> and getting back might be an issue once you steal the boat. Sell and then what do you come back on? So that's what I'm doing today. So it's onto the boats, empty out the dehumidifier, check the drip of seals, have a look at all their lines, make sure everything is as it should be, and um, get on with it. And for our own pleasure on Salty Lass in the last day or two, we have been doing windows. And uh, I was just having a look at them, and our, our old windows are going and our new ones are going in. And it's, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty to look at. <laughs> I can't stop staring through them. <laughs> yeah, they look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just looking through an old one right now. Oh yeah, and the gainer's in there somewhere doing whatever she does. So <laughs> it's a lovely sunny day. It looks nice. It probably looks nicer on camera. It probably looks warmer on camera than it really is because <laughs> it's about zero. <laughs> but it may have warmed up a bit. But we'll see. Anyway, it's on with boat projects and um, once I get these boots all checked out. So, time to get on with it. So why are we excited, Bev? I'm going to fiddle with the windows. Um... These are our replacement ones. They're covered in um, acrylic protector stuff like this. Um, and we've got bolts and we've got caps to go in the bolts that fit in the holes and, you know. Uh, so I'm going to experiment with one of our windows and see how it goes. Yeah, so um, you were talking to me about this, the contents, what you've actually got with the grease. Oh yeah, there's some silicon grease which will be used to rub along the rubber seal before I put the window in. Uh, I've just realised I need to get the butyl tape out. We bought a huge big roll of butyl tape, uh, 10 or 15 metres, something like that. We've got loads of these uh, screws and caps. We've got... Uh, they weigh a ton actually on <laughs> the windows. These are actually thicker than the ones they're replacing. The ones we're replacing do open but these will not open after we're done with them. And as you can see, these windows are madly crazed. You can see with the sunlight shining on them, um, they're massively crazed. And my, my worry about them is that they're, they're weakened by the crazing. But that's not the only worry though, is it really? No, they're also leaking. So it's time that these, I'm gonna to have to take the frames out and that's what the butyl's for. I'm gonna take the frames out and rebed them with the butyl because I suspect that whatever sealant Bavaria used is, is 20 years old. It's just done. Salty lass is only 18. Whatever. Don't add age to the poor girl. She'll manage. She's a big boat. <laughs> so in line with salty lass policies of reuse, we are reusing the cornflakes box. We use the cornflakes box for quite a lot of things. But anyway, I've um, just um, drawn this uh, very um, basic template of where all the screws are. So once I've actually done the template, I'm going to just take my knife and I'm just going to um, 
Ja. Cut a hole like that, just so that I can put the screws somewhere when I've got them out of the out of the window. Um, right, okay, so the next job, uh, we've got the template, so we can put the screws straight into our template. Um, and the next job is to just loosen the screws. Now, um, luckily these are all posi drives, um, but I do have on hand uh, a flat bladed screwdriver if I need to. And last of all, I have um, a clamp so that if they are stubborn at all, because these are um, proud, I can actually get a grip of them. So luckily for me, you know, so I will get these screws out and that's what I've got to do. Luckily for me, most of them um, are loose, but one of them uh, we did have to uh, use the vice grips. Um, but another trick um, is just because of the size of the screws, is actually to use the flat headed screwdriver because. Um, the size of it is such that it actually goes in and uh, that doesn't take out the shoulders. Um, but I didn't need to do that in this particular case, but it, I have done it before now. So you won't be giving up the day job for a mask and take fitter? <laughs> I'm not giving up the day job anytime soon. Right, so um, now that I know that all my bolts um, are loose, I'm quite willing now to remove this window. So um, I'm starting off by uh, masking around um, what we have and um, I'm using all the tricks I learned from Boatworks Andy on Boatworks Today um, where you basically lay the masking tape so that when you pull it off it will just pull as one whole strip so that is the plan uh, but that will be a lot further on down in this process but that's what I'm doing right. okay um, so I've just undone the screws and this is the inside frame now word to the wise um, Always just make sure that the screw that you take out last is at the top. That way you're not having to um, try and force yourself to hold the frame and the screw at the same time. You know, you can just take it out on the one screw and you only have to bother about it on that last screw that you're taking out. So, so uh, now, these screws I've put in the template. I will be cleaning these screws up later and then when I put them back in, I'll be using Duralac. And what's um, Duralac? Duralac um, is just a compound and uh, what it will do is um, just put in a barrier between the screw, which is in stainless steel, and the aluminium frame, which obviously is in shock horror, aluminium. <laughs> but you need a barrier between that, otherwise what will happen is you get electrolysis happening um, and uh, that's what seizes the bolts. Um, and uh, I did have one seized. Right, so should I go up on deck at this point and be standing by the window so when you push it out it doesn't go over the side? Well, yes, I suppose um, we do need to pull it out now. All right, we're now on the bottom now, so we're going to start from the other side, and we'll, uh, and we'll do the bottom, the, the side first. Okay. Applying pressure. Frankie. That's okay, it. it's free. The whole thing's out. Right. Well, it's not as dirty as I thought it would be. Fine. 
Okay, so um, we're now on to the cleaning phase. So I've got um, some rags, good old white spirits, and of course gloves just so that um because white spirit don't half dry your hands out um so just putting the gloves will at least help uh, reduce that for you it's also a very good idea to keep the vents open during this phase yes you must keep the vents open the fact that i've got one window open does help but uh white spirits is very flammable and um we do know of one boat that actually um blew up uh, because they had uh, flammables inside their bilge that was from paint but still take your precautions keep sure that you've got your your hatches open for when you're doing cleaning like this which one was this one which one was what oh well, with you in a minute you would ask me that just as i get my hands covered in wd right, for it right. well that's one down 17 to go well, um, I've got this um, cleaned. Now, if you come in really, really close, you'll know that th you will see that this is not absolutely clean. Um, but there are areas that you do need to keep absolutely clean. The first is on the edge, so that because you're going to be able, you know, that's going to be outside, and you want to make sure that that's all uh, clean. And then just coming in from the edge. You want basically the width of the butyl tape. You want that to be reasonably clean, um, it, you know, so that the butyl tape has got good adhesion. Um, but then coming in further in from where the butyl tape is, quite frankly, you don't have to worry about it so much. The other area that needs to be uh, really clean is the seal that's going to go against the window. Um, but for that, all I've got is a uh, wet wipe and um, I'm just cleaning in around that and you're basically getting rid of, um, it's got like a green algae is growing and I'm just getting rid of all that. Okay, got it again. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the butyl tape literally on the edge and um, you know, maybe a tiny bit close in but other than that and the other thing we're doing is we're making sure that the butyl is not stretched um, so that you've got a nice thick bit of butyl oh my god <laughs> so we are. where is it where's the joint <laughs> it's just here is it perfect it's absolutely Hang perfect on. finger out of the way Wow. Well, it's absolutely perfect, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push it down before I take the tape off. This is just so that um, the butyl is making a good seal on the outside. Okay, so let me just make sure I've got this the right way around. Okay. Goes that way up. Was it seated in all right? No, just um... Just this corner here? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hang on, let me just... Right, that, that's made a little difference. Just tap it here with the palm of your hand. Nearly. Okay, go. It's in. We've got some... Uh, yeah, we've got some spit silicon grease. Yeah. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that on that black seal. So she's just putting that on uh, onto, the, onto the seal itself. Um, and then I'm going to put the window in. Yay! Yeah, you can just see um, just above the frame, we've got spread out, which is exactly what we want here. Um, Beverly's just doing a final check of the bolts. So what are you doing Beverly? At the temperatures it is here, about zero or minus one, the uh, butyl is so hard <laughs> it doesn't pull off easily. Uh, since we have tape under it I can use this very rounded blunt knife just to weaken the butyl along this edge and then I can just work with it. My gel coat is protected by the tape and then it's just a case of just pulling it and 
off it comes quite nicely. Look at that. Well, you can just about see the um, first rainbow of 2021 and uh, we're just hoping that this is a good sign for 2021. <laughs> Well, we're in for a bit of a treat here on Salty Lass as we celebrate the new year with what can only be described as a super duper dinner. Well, here's to 2021. Let's just hope it's a good one. <laughs>